Supraventricular tachycardia is sort of an umbrella term for several very closely related and similar kinds of rhythm. So included under the supraventricular tachycardia umbrella are different rhythms that we call, say, for example, AV nodal reentrant tachycardia, or Wolf-Parkinson-White, or atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia. These are all different kinds of rhythms that come from different areas of the heart, but they do have certain similarities that make them similar and that we kind of group them together. And they are distinctly different from atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. And remember, atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter are the number one and number two most common abnormal heart rhythms that people develop because those rhythms occur just by getting older. Now, the supraventricular tachycardias differ from that in that these cells are not there just by getting older. In general, the circuit that causes these abnormal rhythms is actually there from birth. So it's not necessarily hereditary in the traditional sense where if your parents have it, you definitely will have it, but anyone can develop, can have these from birth. And there is some predisposition genetically if you have one of these abnormal rhythms, one of these SVTs, that your child possibly could have one of the different SVTs as well. But a lot of times it's mostly just you were born with it, and it's not necessarily that your parents had it, but these circuits are really there from birth and they tend to wake up and start to generate electricity and cause rapid heart rate episodes, usually when the person is teenager or an adult.